hello guys uh, welcome back in this video we will learn the blur filter so you know the blur filter is very important filter in terms of image editing and anything related to digital graphics is concerned so it is very important to know how blur works here so uh, i've got a a file called meet mat uh, it is a sample file you can just go from the file menu and we have option called open sample and from there you can open this file so this up uh, this model is uh, generally made in three parts so head uh, the body and base so I'm just working on the uh, head right now and uh, I just create a solid layer or a fill layer as per the substance painters term so I've got uh, at the base here so where I could generally um, add a, a texture to it okay so you get that texture and if you just see this uh, nothing here I mean uh, if, I, if I just go to the filter okay I just click that and then choose the blur filter and then slide it up you should able to see that blur is applied to that uh, layer content okay so you can do the blur here and uh, I would like to open 2d 3d mode and uh, uh, I just need to see if uh, the other parts okay so I was like talking about this uh, blur intensity okay we can blur it and we have this option called blur wrap this is basically a uh, seen in uh, the seams of this tile okay this is zero one tile just go there and then if I just increase the blur and then enable blur wrap you should able to see that effect so um, wrapping is nothing but um, continuity of this information in the next tile okay so you can do that here with this blur wrap feature on uh, so I would like to select this uh, blur feature and then just delete it let me try something else so let me uh, go to the base layer and then you can try uh, adding a color to it so let me choose some color so I'll switch to the base material I'll take another uh, fill layer and I'm going to make this look metallic and then I'm going to make it slightly rough like that now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a mask here okay and in mask I will add a fill and in this I'm going to put a texture which uh, we have a lot of uh, procedural textures so I'm going to choose any one of them maybe I'll choose this one okay this layer uh, height will be added and also the texture what we have selected I'm going to increase the tiles also so I'll switch this to 3d only and then you should able to see uh, this effect now what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the fabric layer or the mask and then go to the uh, filter add filter section just choose that and then you got filter menu and then add blur filter so you got the blur feature which can blur the texture what we have and also we have blur wrap there so that's how you can generally work on it and also you can create a layer okay let me go to the height and then choose it to normal and then here you can just add a fill and there you can take textures okay and then in that also you can add a filter and then choose the blur and then you can blur them like that and then you got the blur wrap feature on so it's not uh, you know complicated but uh, where all you can use this blurs is really important so uh, the filters what I'm using right now 
is applicable to all i mean the the workflow is same but the filter can keep changing so where all you can add filter you saw when you took a fill layer and then took a texture then filter is working then in the layer mask in the stack sub layer stack i can say in that also we are adding the blur filter so it affects to the layers which is uh, below to that in the layer stack so that's how the blur filter works